Hello, my friends. Welcome to our fall 2023 newsletter. I'm reporting to you this time from Vienna, Austria. I'm really, really excited to be here because we have opened a beautiful production of La Traviata, a new production for me. Uh, it is the Simon Stone production, uh, the most contemporary Violetta I've ever had to sing. And I have had a wonderful time. It has been a beautiful, beautiful experience. I do love being in Vienna um, and I love singing Violetta and getting to sing her in literally sweatpants has given me life, I have to say. I'm usually singing Violetta in, you know, big, beautiful, lavish period costumes, high heels, you know, corsets, wig, huge wig. This time it's been much more modern clothing, sneakers, flat shoes. Of course, I've had a couple of party dresses, very exposed party dresses, I might add. But for the most part, it's been wonderful, wonderful uh, costume, comfortable to sing in and super fun to be on stage uh, in a really fun uh, production where Violetta is an influencer and her life is, um, is cut short by cancer, which, you know, is kind of close to my heart. My father actually died of cancer and that makes it... Um, he he died pretty suddenly so it was it was a shocking thing so her death her untimely young death is something that i think a lot of people can resonate with uh certainly in their own lives uh maybe much more than than tv but if, either way the point is violetta dies too young uh and violetta had a lot of influence and a lot of um social uh, had a significant social life and I think an influencer today would be very much um, a similar type to uh, the courtesan, the Violetta that we are we are accustomed to seeing on the operatic stage. So it's been a pleasure to sing a contemporary uh, take on this production. After that, I will be heading over to Chicago to make my debut. I'm so excited at the Lyric. Um, I have been dreaming of singing there for a really long time, so I'm really honored to have an opportunity to go and sing in a Laurent Perry produ production of La Fille du Régiment. Ooh, I can't say that fast. Laurent Pelly, La Fille du Régiment. And I'm singing Marie and I'm having a great time practicing the dialogue and getting the scene, uh, getting the role back into my voice. It is a role that I actually sang several years ago in Pittsburgh and I sang it also in Washington, D.C. And it's a role that I love to sing. It is so fun. It is so funny. It's hilarious. The production is brilliant. I loved seeing this production the first time that I ever saw it with Nathalie Dessay. It absolutely was amazing. So I'm so, so, so excited to get to do this production. We're doing seven performances of that in Chicago. We open on November the 4th. And uh, right after that, I will be heading over to, in between rather, in between performances of Fille du Regiment, I am popping down to Tennessee. Uh, I love the state of Tennessee. I don't know if you guys know. I've actually been to Tennessee many times uh, on just family trips. Uh, I have a sister who lives in Nashville. And we've gone to see the Smokies. We've gone zip lining. We've gone canoeing. We've gone hiking. I love Tennessee. I think Tennessee is amazing. I have a former classmate from LSU who is teaching now at Austin P State University and they have a wonderful performing arts college and they've invited me to come and give a master class and a half recital uh, on November the 7th in Clarksville, Tennessee. So if you uh, are in the area or want to make the drive out to that gorgeous, gorgeous part of the country and you want to come and see the master class or see the recital, I'd be very much happy to see you there. Of course, you can find details on my website. Uh, the next thing that's happening is that on December the 1st, I am going back home to Louisiana to sing a concert on, no, uh, on yeah, December the 1st in New Orleans at the Mahalia Jackson Theater. Uh, and that is a concert with a few other singers. So you'll have an opportunity to hear up and coming younger singers of different voice types joining me in a quartet uh, of, of different uh, different ensembles, duets, and things like that. And uh, that's going to be led by Maestro Joe Colaneri, who I really, really love working with. And of course, it's always a pleasure to be home and sing at home. I'm always happy to go home, see my family, see my old professor, see my old friends. On December the 10th, I will be singing a concert in Dresden of I Puritani. We were also going to be making a recording, a full recording of I Puritani. I'm really excited, of course, to finally have an opportunity to record this opera. It is a role that I really love to sing, the role of Elvira. Uh, and we'll have a single concert performance in Dresden, where we will also be making the recording. So I hope that you are, if you are in the area of Dresden, want to come and make the drive also, Take a trip, come and see Puritani. Uh, that's also going to be a really beautiful experience for me. Also with Larry Brownlee uh, in the role of Arturo. And uh, Larry also will be singing in Chicago with me. I should add that as, uh, as my Tonio. He's been my only Tonio 
So I, he's like my one and only. It's really great. I'm super excited. I love singing with Larry. He's a great friend. He's an incredible colleague. Uh, also, I wanted to add in Chicago, the conductor will be Speranza Scappucci, who of course I love, I adore, she's amazing, and we're always happy to work together. So, all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this newsletter. I can't wait to see you in my winter newsletter coming up after New Year. I wish you a very happy fall season, a beautiful holiday, and I will see you after 2024. Take care.
questi abiti da, davvero di, di moda, grandissima moda e mi sento pure come un angelo, <ride> davvero non... Sto cantando Violetta nella Traviata, domani è la mia ultima recita. Però non vedo l'ora e voglio annunciare che sono molto felice di tornare a Roma in aprile per cantare la Sonnambula e per me sarà...